All right. Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Kakudash. My name is Tazamak Amath, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach this truth and rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that scatter abroad. And today I just want to go into how these wicked elites, you know, these top head bankers and um, so forth, they're devising a plan to the to uh, to build their enterprise. Okay, they're devising a plan to build their enterprise, and you see these things that are happening in the world day by day. It's nothing new. Everything has already been scripted. Everything has already already be been written for them to devise their plan in a sharp um um you know in discreet manner you know to catch the people but they're not going to catch us so forth uh the elect they're not going to catch the elect by surprise okay let's actually um let's actually get this real quick Second Corinthians 2 and 11, it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right? Because Satan, you know, there's a spiritual demon Satan and there's a physical counterpart. And the physical counterpart will be Esau Edom, the so-called white man race. Okay, the so-called Europeans. Alright? Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, okay? And you see what Esau pushed his agenda through, you know, the media, which is witchcraft, okay? They tell you what, what they want you to hear, but not what is really going on, okay? Now you have this thing that happened with the banks, which all set up for a global enterprise for them to push their NWO, okay? Slowly but surely, it will happen. All right, and the people that don't um, take heed to it, they will get caught in their snare. So let's actually go to Micah 2 and 1. And it says, woe to the oppressors, right? Because these are the people that oppress us, the so-called white man race, which um, our Lord, Yahweh Bashim al has set up to be thy left hand. Um, Let's see if we can get in Psalms. Uh, left hand sword. Let's see if we get it. This is Psalm 17 and 13, and it says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, because the Lord has a left hand, which does the, um, you know, the evil, and he has his right hand, who does the good, right? Because the Lord is a perfect balance, and he set up Esau Edom to be the wicked, okay, which is his sword. His destruction. Okay. So let's actually go back. Um, since we proved that. Because. What what the Lord is about to bring. Is utter chaos. And utter hell upon this earth. And Esau Edom. Which was blessed with the sword. Okay. Which was blessed with the sword. He will. You know. Devise his plan. And try to make it happen. But the Lord is going to destroy it. But this is Micah 2 and 1. Woe. Okay, which means destruction. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Okay. 
Now, Esau Edom, you know, these top head elites, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, um, you know, all these, you know, top bankers that you don't hear about, you don't, you don't know about the secret government, okay, the underground government, all right, these are people that rule, okay, that tell, that pay your presidents, that tell them what to do, okay, that fund the wars, all right, these are the people that devise iniquity, all right, and work evil upon their beds, all right, they have counsel together, you know, they, they conjure up things to, you know, to push their NWO, to push, you know, their ways to, um, to be on top, to make people their slaves, all right, and that's the main, that's their main thing, is to push that karagma to get everybody on the one world, uh, you know, government, a one world everything, you know, ran by them, okay, um, you know, this one rough child, he has all these heart, these heart transplants, because they don't want to die, they want to see their, they want to see the thing they planned out come to life, okay, they have all these heart transplants, because they know if they die, they're going to fucking slavery, all right, they want to see, and they want to see in real time, their plan come to life, okay, they have these things called the Illuminati cards, all right, which plays out their agenda, okay, they have, you know, predictive programming. All right, this is the things they want to push upon the people so they can execute their plan. All right? So, the, you know, the Lord is in all things. The Lord is showing you what they're going to do. All right? But, you know, these um people that are naive and docile, they're not going to understand what's going on. Okay? And it says, and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it's in the power of their hand, right? They want to practice everything they conjure up and talked about together, okay? They want to practice it and put it into um, put it upon the earth, and put it to light. All right. Um, let's grab um, let's grab this real quick. Give me a second. Let's grab the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 16. And it says, For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Right? These people, they don't sleep until they've done evil. Okay, that's what makes them happy. What well, that's what when they see chaos and and blood on the streets, they that's what makes them happy. Except they have done mischief, they sleep not, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Right, and their main enemy, who they want to take down, is is us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, the Israelites. Okay. We are the true chosen people of the Most High. All right. Verse 17, it says, For they for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Okay. They eat the bread of wickedness. They, these are the wicked. Okay. These are the wicked. They drink the wine of violence. These people are evil. Um, let's actually grab right here. In the book of um, uh, let's get this right here because these are the wicked, and you know our people stay trusting these people, and they're gonna soon to find out that. They soon gonna find out this is the devil. You don't believe us? Wait until the devil does it. Then you then you're gonna believe this is the devil. Okay? This is Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. 
For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Okay. Let's get this. Let's get this. Psalms 83. Let's hold this real quick. It says, Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. You see how iron, when iron rusts, it gets worse and worse. So is this, so is this man's wickedness. Okay. So is this man's wickedness. So when you go back, let's actually go back to uh, Proverbs 4 real quick. And when you read verse 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Okay. They cannot sleep until they've done mischief. So when you go to Psalms 83 and 1, right? Okay, these are our enemies. And guess who's number one? Esau Edom, right? Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh Bashim Shai. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. All right, it's almost like they conjure up together. Let's actually, um, let's look it up. To be in stir. All right, to be in, be in a commotion. All right, tumult. All right, when you go back. And it says, they make the, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy, peop against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. Okay, which will be Israel. Alright. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. Okay. Edom. The tabernacles of Edom. This is the top dog. This is the head that runs everything. All these other heathen heathen nations, they follow. Right? And it says the Ishmaelites of Moab, of the Hagarenes, Gabal, and Ammon, and Amalek, and Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. So on and so forth. So these nations, starting with Esau, wants to bring us down from being a nation. Okay? They want to cut us off. Um, let's see this. Right here. This is Lamentations 2 and 15. It says, all that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All right, because Jerusalem is a people before a place. Okay, and the people that are clapping their hands and hiss at us are these other nations. Because while we're at the bottom, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be at the top, ruling over these other nations. These are these are these other nations they're they're supposed to be our slaves. They're supposed to be servants to us. Okay? But now we at the bottom. You know, they saying is this this is the men they call perfection of beauty? This is the people they call the joy of the whole earth, right? All the enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found and we have seen it. So, the enemies, which we read in Psalms 83, this is the thing that we want. That's the thing that they wanted for us to be at the bottom, for us to suffer, for them to be at top, ruling over us, telling us what to do, you know, working for them. You know, we are we are at the tail. Why? Because we didn't listen to the law, such and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yah Shai. Okay. So we are thrown down. Okay, we have to be very humbled by the Lord. But see, 
this is how the story plays out. Because at the end, we're going to have the last laugh. We're going to have the last laugh. Because the scriptures say, let's get this, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says, and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses. All right, the curses of Deuteronomy 28, right? All these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay, so everything we have went through as a nation, as a people, is going to happen to our enemies and these other uh, nations. Okay, they're going to be put in slavery and they're going to work for us. But the main thing is Esau wants to devise his plan to destroy us. Okay. Let's actually grab... um. Oh, let's let's go to Surah 12. Cause we ain't finish it. Alright. Cause we hey we point out who's our enemy. And the main one's Esau. Okay. That's the main one that, you know, devised all these other nations to take us down. Okay, and, and guess who's at the top? Esau Edom. He's the one that runs the world right now. He's he's the one that has his faces on the money. Okay. Verse eleven. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his breasts have not been altogether wiped away. Okay? Even though he may, you know... Hey, look, man, this is the devil, bro. <laughs> this is the devil, bro. I'm telling you, this is the devil. Okay? He may, he may do all that. He may... He's still the devil. You wipe, you wipe a um a looking glass. Hey, look, he's still gonna be the devil, bro. He's still gonna be a devil. Let's jump down a little bit. This is verse sixteen. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Okay. <laughs> What the scriptures say? He's not going to be satisfied with blood, right? <laughs> Look, man, the scripture pay, pairs everything together. All right, let's start at verse 3. Well, let's start at verse 2. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, right? Mount Seir, all right, today will be America because majority of, you know, so-called Europeans stay here okay the Lord said prophesy against it all right do we not tell these Americans these everyday stupid ass Americans that your that your country is going to be blown to smithereens by nuclear fire a hundred percent okay yeah we tell them every day okay and say unto it thus saith the Lord Yahweh behold O Mount Seir I am against thee and I will stretch out my hand against thee. Okay? When you go into a uh, hand, all right, that power. Okay? And I will make thee most desolate. Okay? When Yahweh Shai comes, and when Yahweh gives Yahweh Shai that green light, okay? Yahweh Shai is going to make, he's going to make his name known upon this earth. He's going to, everybody's going to know that Yahweh Shai did this. Okay? Everybody's gonna know when, when you see 200 million nuclear missiles flying in the air, all these different warheads destroying America one by one by one, boom, boom, boom. You're gonna, you're gonna know how about Shemuel Shai did it. And the Lord hates America, man, which is known as Babylon the Great in the Scriptures. All right, Mystery Babylon. Okay, verse four. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, utter destruction desolate and thou shalt know that i am yahweh you're gonna know this is the lord okay why do you think the lord lets esau you know um let his sins reach up into heaven let him let him run rampant let him let him pile up his tab of wickedness let him pile up his tab of sins because when i come and i destroy this place i say of the lord you're gonna know the lord did it you're going to know the Lord did it. You're going to know when the Lord 
brings all hell on earth. You know, all these different plagues. When World War Three starts, all this stuff. When a purge times a hundred comes, you're gonna know. Hey, look at their economy of America crashing, banks crashing. Everything is getting is getting found out, and the Lord is the one that's doing it. Famine. Okay, you're gonna know the Lord did it. But this is the point right here, verse five, because thou has had a perpetual hatred, which is an everlasting hatred, starting in the beginning. Okay, of Genesis. All right, he had a perpetual hatred, and has shed, and, and and it says, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, and the time that their iniquity has had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Saith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right. And when you go right here, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if you find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Right? We just read in Ezekiel 35. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head. And clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. And that's the fucking devil, bro. That's the damn devil. Huh. Hey, this is a hey, this is a fire scripture right here. Verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beast. Hey, you know, this hey, are people gonna be bitten by the serpent, bro? You know, you wanna charm the serpent? And all this stuff, you're going to get bitten. You're going to find out who the damn devil is. You're going to find out this is the same devil that been putting you down every day. <laughs> every day you wake up to go to work, pay them taxes. You're going to find out this is the devil. You're going to find out the devil when he's kicking down your door, martial law, putting you in FEMA camps. When he's taking away all your goods, all your money, you're going to find out this is the devil. You're going to find out this is the devil that has a perpetual hatred against the children of Israel. Okay, you're going to find out this is the devil. You're going to find out this is a wicked place. You're going to find out this is a wicked government. See, our people don't want to take heed. They don't want to freaking find out. They don't want to know. They want to be buddy-buddy with the same people that put us in the fucking slave ships, took us from one country to another, and still oppress us to this day, and shed our blood in this fucking land, bro. This land got to be destroyed. This land is going to be destroyed by the Lord, okay? See, now, now these devils, they think they got, they, they, they scot free. Oh, that was the past. No, you haven't paid justice. You haven't paid for nothing. Okay. You haven't paid for nothing, but soon enough, the Lord is going to show you everything that you're going to pay for because he doesn't forget. And why, and why should we forget? Okay. Let's get, um. Psalms 140. Uh, I spelled it wrong. This is Psalms 140, chapter 1. Um, so Psalms 140, verse 1. And it says, Deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man. Alright, this is the evil man. Okay? And, and this is a prayer. For protection against the wicked because guess what esau edom is going to come like a flood against the children of israel when you read um you know how the dragon made war with the uh with the woman okay roughly paraphrasing the revelation it talks about esau man he want to he wants to make war with the elect okay but he's not going to prosper it's not going to happen when the when the flood come when the flood Esau Edom come like a flood. Hey, the Lord is going to set up a standard for us against this wicked ass devil. Because he has, hey, he has a sword. He has his blessing. He's going to use it to his almighty power. All right. This is Psalms 140 verse 1. Deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man, which is the wicked Esau Edom. Preserve me from the violent man. Okay. We just read in the earlier Proverbs how... Hey, he loves violence. Okay, 
This is a violent man. Verse 2, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. When you go into the word heart, is the law, which is their mind. Which imagine mischiefs in their mind. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Salah. Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purposed to overthrow my goings. Verse 5. The proud have hid a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Salah. Okay. I said unto Yahweh, Thou art my power. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Yahweh. Okay. Hey, Lord, Lord, please hear our supplication, our prayers, and protect us. Because this devil's going to come down with great wrath, bro. Okay. Hey, soon enough. Hey, he gonna have to. He gonna have to move. The Lord's gonna make him move. Um, let's get this in the, the book of Sirach, and we'll close it out. You know, I pretty much hit the point. Hey, how Esau Edom? Hey, he has a he has a devised um plan to build his enterprise. Okay, he has a devised plan to build his enterprise, and everything you've seen upon this earth. It's a key step to getting closer and closer and closer to it. Okay. Let's get the book of um Sirach chapter 36. And verse. Let's go right here. We can start at verse 1. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 1. It says, Have mercy upon us, O Yahweh Bashim Yashah of all, and behold us. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Okay? The Lord is going to send fear upon all these other nations. They're going to find out that the Lord is real. That the Lord is almighty powerful. And he's for the children of Israel. Verse 3. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. Okay. Let them see thy power. Okay. Hey, the, hey, the Lord is going to show his power. He's going to show his power. People going to people going to know that this is the Lord. Right. Verse four. As thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no that it, it's like in that it says that there is no God, but only thou, O Yahweh Shemal Shai. Right? There is no power but you. All right, Yahweh going to um, he is, he exists. It's only you, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. In the name of the um Yahweh Shai, he saves, he delivers. Yahweh Shai, okay. There's nobody else but you. You're the almighty power. Verse 6. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Right? Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, which will be who? Yahweh Shai. How you prove that? Psalms 110 and 1. And it says, Yahweh said unto my Lord, which will be Yahweh Shai, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Verse 6, Sirach 36 and uh, 6. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wonder, wondrous works. Raise up indignation, righteous anger. And pour out wrath, which will be what? Nuclear missiles, right? Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy, which will be who? Esau, Edom. Okay? Sake the time short. Remember the covenant. Let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire. And let them perish that oppress the people. Okay, let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire, 
and let them perish that oppress the people. Esau Edom is going to be oppressed and destroyed. All right, I'm going to grab this last scripture and we'll close it. This is Job 5 and 12. And it says, he, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Okay, so when the Lord comes back, he's going to destroy Esau Edom and his system so they cannot perform their enterprise to 100%. Okay. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson been edifying. We're going to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Kakudash. Until next time, I say Shalom.